Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Joshua 10 to 16, Proverbs 14 and Psalm 141. Let's get started. As soon as Adonis Zedda, king of Jerusalem, how Joshua heard how Joshua had captured I and had devoted it to destruction, doing to I and its king as he had done to Jericho and its king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them. He feared greatly because Gibeon was a great siege, like one of the rural cities, and it was because it was greater than I, and all its men were warriors. So Zoni Zedda, king of Jerusalem, sent to Hoham, king of Hebron, to Piram, king of Jarmuth, to Japhia, king of Lachish, and to Debir, king of Eglon. And saying, Come up to me and help me, and let us strike Gibeon. But he has made peace with Joshua and with the people of Israel. And the five kings seated in Morris, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon, gathered their forces and went up with all their armies and encamped against Gibeon, and made war against it. And then the men of Gibeon sent to Joshua at the camp in Gil, saying, Do not relax your hand from your sins. Come up to us quickly and see us and help us for all the kings of the Amorites who are dwelling in the hill and shall guard against us. So Joshua went up from Gilgal, he and all the people war with him, and all the mighty men of Valor and the Lord said to him, Do not fear them, for I have given them into your hands. No man of them shall stand before you. So Joshua came upon the sun, and having marched up all night from Gilgal. And the Lord threw them into a panic before uh, into a panic before Israel. He struck them with a great blow at Gibeon, and chased them by the way by the way of the Asnath of Bethlehem, and struck them as far as Asker and Makeda, and they fled before Israel while they were going down the Asnath of Bethlehem. The Lord threw down large stones from heaven as far as Asker and Eda, and there were more who died because they held stones down with the sons of Israel filled with the sword. At the time Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord gave the Almighty over to the sons of Israel, he said in the sight of Israel, who had stand still at Eden and lived in the valley of Ijon. And as long as it is still in the moon star, and until the nation took vengeance on their enemies. And you know, this, this is not written in the book of Joshua. The sun stopped in the midst of heaven and did not rise to set for about a whole day. There has been no day like it before since. And the Lord heard the voice of the man. And the Lord fought for Israel. So Joshua returned, and it was out with him to the camp at Gilgal. The five kings fled and hid themselves in the cave of Machia. And it was told to Joshua, the five kings have been found in the cave of Machia. And Joshua said, All of our stands against the mouth of the cave. And set men by it to go. Do not stay there ourselves, pursue your enemies, and attack their red god. Do not let them enter their seas, for the Lord your God has given them into your hand. When Joshua and the sons of Israel finished striking them with the great blood, until they were wiped, and the remnant that remained of them had entered into the fortified cities, and all the people remained safe until Joshua and the camp had moved them. Not a man moved his tongue against any of the people of Israel. And when Joshua said, Open the mouth of the cave and bring those five kings out to me and from the cave. And they did so and brought those five kings out to him from the cave. The king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebrew, the king of Java, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And when they brought those kings out to Joshua, Joshua summoned all the men of Israel and said to the chiefs of the men of war, who had gone with him, Gone with him, come near, put your feet on the next of these kings. And they came near and with their feet on their necks. And Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid or dismayed. He is showing courage, so that's the Lord will do to all your enemies and to against whom you fight. And after Joshua struck them down and put them to death, put them to death. And he hanged them on five trees, and they hung on the trees until evening. At the time they were going down on the snow, Joshua commanded, and they took them down from the trees and threw them into a cave where they had hidden themselves. They sent large stones against the mouth of the cave, which remained to this very day. As for Machida, Joshua captured it on that day and struck it in its cave. With the edge of the sword, he devoted to destruction every person in it. He left none but me, and he did to King Machida, just as he had done to the King of Jericho. I and Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Machida to Libna and fought against Libna. And the Lord had gave the rest of its king into the hand of God, and he struck it with the edge of the sword and every person in it. He left none remaining there, and he did to its king as he had to the king of Jericho. And Joshua and all his armies had passed on from Libna to Lachish and made siege to and fought against it. And the Lord gave Lachish into the hand of Israel. And he captured it on the second day, on the second day, and struck it with the edge of the sword. And then every person in it, as he had done to Libna, and the whole king of Israel came out to help Lachish. And then Joshua struck him in his heap until he left none remaining. And Joshua and all his armies with him passed on from Lachish to Agma. And they laid siege to it and fought against it. And he captured it on that day and struck it with the edge of the sword. And he devoted every person in it to struck him that day as he had done to Lachish. And Joshua and all his armies with him went up to Eglon. 
to take heat and they fought against and captured and against Dracula with the edge of the sword. That is King of Towns and every person in it. He left no remain as he had done to Agma, and diverted it to his Dracula and every person in it. And Joshua and was out with him, turned back to be and fought against it. And he captured it with its king and its towns. And they struck him with the edge of the sword and divided to destruct him every person in it. He left no remain, just as he had done to he and to live in its king. And so he did to the beer and to its king. And uh, Joshua slapped, struck the whole land, the hill country, the end of the and then the lowland, all the slaves, and all their king. He left none remaining, but did raid to destruction all that be. He said the Lord God is up to me. And Joshua struck them from Cash money as far as Gaza, and all the country of Goshen as far as Gibeon. And Joshua captured all these kings and made a land at one time. There's a lot of God of Israel for Israel. And Joshua returned and all Israel with him to the camp at Gilgal. And Jabin could have heard of this. He sent to Jeroboam king of Maiden, and to the king of Shimon, and to the king of Akshath, and to the kings who were in the northern hill country, and in the Arab south of Chinnawath, and in the lowland, and in Naphoth door in the west, to the Canaanites and the Eastern in the west. The Amorites, the Hittites, the Parasites, and the Jews sight in the hill country, and the Hivites under Hermon in the land of Mizpah, and they came with all their troops a great war, and number like the sand that is on the seashore, with very many horses and chariots. And all these kings joined their forces to King and came together at the waters of Merom to fight against Israel. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them, for tomorrow at this time I will give over all of them, slain to Israel. Shall hamstring their, uh, hamstring their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua and all his warriors came suddenly against them by the waters of Merom and fell upon them. And the Lord gave them into the hand of Israel, who struck them and chased them as far as Greece and, and Mishra forth from Maine, and Israel as far as the valley of Mizpah. Mizpah. And he struck them until he left them remaining. And Joshua did so, just as the Lord said to him. He hamstrung their horses and bent the chariots with fire. And Joshua turned back at that time and captured Hazel and struck its king with the sword. For Hazel formerly was the head of, of all their kingdom. And they struck with the sword all who were in it, dividing them to the shrine. There was none left that breeze. And he burnt Hazel with fire. And the Lord came the seas of those kings. And all their kings shall show capture, and strike them with the edge of the sword, to bury them into destruction, just as soon as the servant of the Lord had commanded. And none of the seas that stood on the mountains did Israel bear, except Hazel and that Joshua bear. But in all the spoil of these seas and the the people which I took for their plunder, but every person they struck with the edge of the sword until they had destroyed them. And they did not leave any debris, just as the Lord had commanded Moses, so Moses commanded, so Moses commanded Joshua. And, and so Joshua did. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded concerning them, or that the Lord had commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hill country, and the Negev, and all the land of Gosh, and the Lord, and the Arab, and the hill country, and its low land from Mount Halak, which rises towards the as far as Belgad and the valley of Lebanon, below Mount Hermon. And he captured all their kings and struck them and put them to death. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. It was not a city that made peace with the people of Israel except the Hivite, the inhabitants of Eden. He took them all in battle, for it was the Lord's doing to harm their hearts, and they should come against Israel in battle. In order that they should be devoted to destruction, and they should, and should receive no mercy, no mercy, but be destroyed, just as the Lord commanded Moses. And Joshua came at that time, and Kafka, and they came from the hill country, from Heber, and from the Ber, from Anab, and from all the hill country of Judah. And from all the hill country of Israel, Joshua divided them to destruction with their seed. And there was none of the Anakim left in the land, the Hebrew of Israel, mainly in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod, did some remain. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord had spoken to Moses. And then Joshua gave foreign inheritance, foreign inheritance to Israel, according to their tribal allotments, and the land had rest from war. Now these are the kings of the land whom the people of Israel defeated and took possession of their land beyond the Jordan to all the Samash. From the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon, with all the Arab Israel, Zion gave the Elohim who lived there. He lived at Hesher and ruled from Aral, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and from the middle of the valley as far as the river Jabal, to the boundary of the Ammonites, that is half a gilly, half a gilly, and the Arab to the sea of Chinoth eastward, in the direction of Beth Jeshemoth, to the sea of the Arab, the salt sea east southward, to the foot of the slopes of Pisgah, and all the king of Bashar, one of the remnant of the Rephid, who lived to Ashtar, then at Edray, and ruled over Mount Hermon, and Salkan, and all Bashar, to the boundary of the Kishurite, and the Marakathite. And over half the Gilead to the boundary of Zion, King of Hesbon, most of the seven of the Lord, uh, and the Hebrew always had defeated them. Most of the seven of the Lord gave the land for possession to the Reuben, and the Gadites, and the half of Mass. And these are the kings of the land whom Joshua and the Hebrew always had defeated on the west side of the Jordan, and then Balgrim in the valley of Laban, to Mount Halak, which rises towards there, which rises towards there. 
And then the King of Jericho won, the King of Ai, which is beside Bethel one, the King of Jerusalem one, the King of Hebron one, the King of Jonathan one, the King of Lachish one, the King of Eglon one, the King of Gazel one, the King of Debiah one, the King of Gedo one, the King of Hormel one, the King of Arad one, the King of Lebanon one, the King of Adal one, the King of Makedo one, the King of Bethel one, the King of Tapua one, the King of Hepha one, the King of Aphek one, the King of Lasharon one, the King of Madden one, the King of Hazel one, the King of Shimon Marin one, the King of Akshaf one, the King of Tanak one, the King of Megiddo one. One, the king of Kadesh one, the king of Jokneam in Carmel one, the king of Dor in Naphtal one, the king of Goyim in Galilee one, the king of Tezo one, in all thirty one kings. Now Joshua is older and advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You are older and advanced in years, and yet thou remains very much land to possess. This land that yet remains in all the regions of the Philistines, and all those that of the Geshurites, and those of the Avon in the south, all the land of the Kidnath. And Mara that belongs to the Sidonians, to affect to the boundary of the Umbrage and the land of the Kabbalites, and all the band toward the Sunrise, from Baalgad below Mount Hermon to Melibahan, all the inhabitants of the hill country from the band to Miserafloch Mayim, even all the Sidonians, I myself would drive them out from before the people of Israel, only a lot of land is our foreign inheritance, and I command you, now therefore divide this land for an inheritance. To nine tribes and half the tribe master, with the other half of the tribe master, the good knights and the god eyes received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond the Jordan Easter, as Moses the seventh of the Lord gave them, and my rod which is on the edge of the valley of the honor, and the sea dies in the middle of the valley, and all the table and the as far as Dibon, and all the seas of Sihon can be a march, Urien and Heshwin, as far as the boundary of the Ammonites, and Gilead, and the region of the Gishurites, and Magathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan to Sinelka. Rules the kingdom of Og and Bashan, who reigned in Ashtoth and Edrei. And over these, Moses had struck and driven them. If the people in Israel did not judge about the Geshurites of the Marakathites, where Geshur and Marakath dwell, Marakath dwell in the midst of Israel to this day. And if you had tried to leave my land, Moses gave no inheritance. The offering by fly, by fly to, to the Lord, God of Israel, on their inheritance, as he said to them. So Moses gave them inheritance to the Hebrew River according to their clan. So the territory was from the world, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the sea that is in the middle of the valley. And all the table land by Medeba, Medeba with Heshbon, and all the cities that are in the table land. Dibon and Balmoth, Baal, Beth, Balmia, and Jehaz, Kedemoth, and Nephath, and Kirithane, Kirithane, and Simma, and Zerah, Shahal, and the hill of the valley. The hill of the valley, and Beth, all the slaves, Pisgah, and Beth, Jehaz, that is all the seas of the table and the king of Sihon, the king of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Hashem, and Moses defeated with the leaders, and made every reckoned in the, and her, and rather the princess of Steve, Sihon, who lived in the, in the land. Balaam is the son of Beor, the one who practiced divination, who was killed with the sword, and with the son, and the people of Elijah, and the people of Elijah, among the rest of their slain, and the border of the people of Elijah was drawn as a boundary. This is the inheritance of the people of Reuben going to their clans with their cities and villages. This is given inheritance then. This is to the tribe of Gad. And so the people of Gad are going to their clans. And the territory was chased. The territory was chased in all the cities of Gilead and half the land. The land of the Amalek to Arabah, which is east of Rabba. Rabba runs from Heshbon to Ramath Mizra and Bethanian. And from Mahanaim to the territory of Dubu. And in the fire of Heshbon and Melfi. Valley Beth Haran, Beth Name of Sukkoth and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sion and King of Heshbon, and having the Jordan as their boundary to the lower end of the Sea of Cherith. And the east was beyond the Jordan, this is the inheritance of the people of God going to their clan, with their siege in their villages. And Moses gave an inheritance to the half tribe of Manasseh, and was allotted to the half tribe of the people of Manasseh going to their clan. And we can extend from Mahne through all Bashan, the whole kingdom of all King of Bashan. And all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, sixty cities, and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Edrei, seized the kingdom of Og and Bashan. These were allotted to the people of Machia, the son of Manasseh, for the half, the half of the people of Machia, going to his clans. These are the inheritances that Moses distributed in the plains of Moab, and on the Jordan, East of Jordan. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses gave no inheritance. The Lord God of Israel is their inheritance, just as he said to them. These are the inheritance that the people of Israel received in the name of the king, which also the priest and Joshua the son of them, and the heads of, their fa- of the father's house of the tribes of Hebrew Israel, and gave them to inherit. The inheritance was right, Lord, just as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses, and the nine and one half tribes, 
and both of them gave them an inheritance by two and one half times beyond the job. But to the Levites he gave an inheritance among the other people of Judah, so there were two tribes, and I said, no and their portion was given to the Levites in the land. So when they ceased to grow, if their pestilence for their livestock and their substance, the people of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses, they were the land. And the people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the king's eyes, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses the man and go, You can catch my knee, you can me on me. And I was four years old when Moses the servant both both sent me from cash my knee, so I the land. And I brought him word, word again as it was in my home. And my brother who went out with me made the heart of the people of Mount Saint. Yeah, I wholly follow the Lord by God. And made a sworn that day, saying, Surely the land which your foot has shown shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever, because you wholly follow the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, just as he said, These forty five years since the time that the Lord has given spoke this word to Moses, while well, Israel walked in the Lord. And now, behold, I am this day eighty five years old, and I am still so strong as today, today as I was in the day that Moses sent me. My strength is now, as at the, as I was my strength was then, for the going and coming. Now get me this whole country which the Lord spoke on that day. We heard how the Anakin wrote that. Anakin, we heard now that Anakin was there, with great fruit I see, it may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall drive them out just to the king of And Joshua blessed him, and he gave him unto Caleb, the son of Jephthah, and inheritance. Therefore, he built. Therefore, he won became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephthah, and the king of Israel to his day, to this day, because he holds the father of the Lord, the God of Israel. Now the name of Hebron formerly was Kethaba, and the land of Bethel Mo, from Mo. The allotment for the tribe of the people of Judah according to their clans. We reached southward to the boundary of Bedu, and in the wilderness of Zin at the farthest south. And the south boundary ran from the end of the salt sea, from the bay that it faces southward. And it goes out southward to the Asim of Akram, passes along to Zin, and goes up south to Kadesh by me, along the Hebron up to Adar, turns about to Kaka, passes along to Asim, and goes out to the brook of Egypt, and comes to its end at the sea. We shall be your south boundary, and the east boundary is the salt sea, to the mouth of the door, and the boundary on the north side runs from the bay of the sea. At the mouth of the Jordan, and the boundary goes up to Beth Hobah, and lasts along north of Beth Arabah. And then the boundary goes up to some to the stone of Bohans and the river. And the boundary goes up to the beer of the, of the valley of Egel. To a beer of, from the valley of Egel, and so north, turn to Google, which is opposite the ascent of, ascent of a dunip, which is on the south side of the river. And the boundary passes up there. Passes along to the waters of Enshmesh and ends at Enberger. And the boundary goes up by the valley of the Sun Sea. Valley of the Sun Hinnom and the Sun of Hinnom to the southern shoulder. To the southern shoulder of the Jebisa. And the boundary goes up the top of the mountain that lies over the valley of Hinnom on the west. At the northern end of the valley. Northern end of the valley of Raphaim. And the boundary extends from the top of the mountain to the spring. Of the woods in Neftel, and from there to see of Mount Ephraim. Then the boundary bends around to Babel, and the boundary circle, circles west of Babel. Babel, at Mount Seir, passes along to the northern, bo- northern shore of Mount Jair, and goes down to Ben Beth Shemesh and passes along, passes along by Timur. The boundary goes out, goes out by the, to the shoulder of the hill north. Of Ekron, then the boundary bends around to Shikaron and passes along to Mount Bawa and goes out to Jabnil. And the boundary comes to an end at the sea. And the west boundary was the great sea, was the coastal. Yes, this, this is the boundary around the heap of Judah according to Esi. According to the commandment of the Lord to Jerusalem, he gave to Kirith the son of Jephna a portion among the people of Judah. Kirith Arba, that is Hebron, and Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Shishai, and Ephraim, and Talmai, and the sons of Anak. And he went out from there against the, against the inhabitants of Debeir. Now the name of Debeir was formerly was Kirith Sefer. And Caleb said, Whoever strikes Kirith Sefer and captures it, to him I'll give acts of my daughter as wife. And Othniel the son of Kenah is the daughter. Her brother Caleb kept him, and he gave him acts of his daughter's wife. And she came to him, she asked him to ask her father for a field. And she brought her donkey and said to him, What do you want? She said to him, Give me a blessing. 
give me a blessing since you have given me the land of the neck. Give me your assistance from one. And he gave it the upper strings and the low strings. And this is the inheritance of the tribe of the Hebrew Jew according to their class. So you belong to the tribe of the Hebrew Jew in the extreme south. Throw out the boundary of Adam, but Kavi, you, Eda, Jigga, Kina, Dimon, Adada, Kedesh, Hazel, Ithna, Ziph, Telem, Beeloth, Hazel, Halata, Kirath, Hezrus, Amma, Shema, Molda, Hazel, Gad, Heshma, Beth, Pala, Hazel, Shua, Beeshabat, Bissinothia, Bala, Im, Adam, Peltula, Chesel, Horma, Ziklai, Madman, Sun, Salam, Bal, Shohim, Ain, and Remit. In all 29 cities, like the in the village, in the, in the lowland, Eshtal, Zor, Ash, Ashna, Zanoa, and Gana, Tepula, and then Jarmuth, Adam, Sokol, Asuka, Sharae, Adithay, Adithay, and Gedera, Gedera, and 14 cities with their villages. Zina, Hadasha, Mibroga, Dilia, Mizpah, Jokthil, Metlachish, Bozka, Bozka, Eglin, Kabon, Lahma, Lahmam, Chitlish, Gedera, Beth Dagger, Nain, and Makeda, 16 cities with their villages. Lebna, Ether, Asher, Ifta, Ashna, Nezer, Kayla, Aksu, and Nesha, 9 cities with their villages. Ekron with its tens of villages. From Ekron to the sea, all that were by the side of Ashna, with its their villages. Ashna is tens of villages. Gaza is tens of villages to the book of Egypt, and the great sea with its coastline. And the Kivu country, Shimea, Jatias, so called Dana, Kirith, Sana, Anab, Estimont, Anan, Goshen, Holland, and Yellow. The eleven cities with their villages Aram, Duma, Eshan, Janet, Bethapur, Africa, Hamta, Kirith, Ava, and Zeal. Nine cities with their villages Mount and Carmel, Zif, Jata, Tisai, Jezreel, Jotnim, Zanoa, Cain, Gibi, and Timna. And ten cities with their villages Half. Hal Hal, Beth Gedor, Marat, Beth Anos, and El Chacon, six cities with their villages. Kirith, Baal, and Rabba, two cities with their villages in the wilderness. Beth Araba, Medin, Sakaka, and Nebshan, City of Sol, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. Beth and Jubilee sites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the Hebrew and Judah did not drive them. Here the Jewish sites dwell with the people of Judah at Jerusalem to this day. The enrollment for the Hebrew of Jerusalem went from the Jordan by Jericho, east of the woods of Jericho, into the woods. Going up from Jericho into the hill country to Bethel, then going from Bethel to Luz, the apostles along to Atar, the territory of the Archite, territory of the Archites, and it goes down eastward, westward to the territory of the Jephthahites, as far as the territory of Lower Bethel and then to Bethel, and it ends at the sea. And the parents of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim received their inhabitants. The territory of the Egypt of Ephraim by the clans was as follows. The boundary of the inhabitants on the east was Atar of Atar as far as Earth and Beth Horn. And the boundary goes from there to the sea. On the north is Mitch Methel. And then on the east, the boundary turns around from Tower, Tanas, Juno, and passes along long way to the east. And then on the east, the boundary turns around toward Tanash, Tanash, Juno, and passes along beyond it to the east to Juno. And, and then it goes down from Juno to Atar and to Nara. And then it touches Jericho, ending at the Jordan. From Tapua, the boundary goes westward to the port of Canada and ends at the sea. Not just the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Ephraim, by their clans, together with the towns that were set apart from the people of Ephraim, within the inheritance of the Manasseh. And in all those towns were their village. And all they did not drive up the Canaanites who lived in Gaza. So the Canaanites have lived in the midst of Ephraim to this day. They have been made to do forced labor. Proverbs 14. The wife of one builds a house, but follows her own and says it down. Wife also not right in his fears, Lord, but he is devious in his ways, despises. How the mouth of a fool comes to one for his back, and the lips of the wise will be seven. May they are no ox in the main Jesus, but the abundant cross come by the strength of the ox. Faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness reads not lie. The scoffer sees wisdom in vain, but no one does even what a man of understanding. Leave the presence of a fool, for they do not meet words and words. The wisdom of the prudence is discerned this way, but the folly of fools is to see and fall mark with the kill often. Let the other enjoy acceptance, the heart knows the same business, and no stranger shares its joy. As the wicked will be to show, but the time of the other of flesh. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Even in love with a heart may ache, and the end of joy may be grief. And backsliding in heart will be filled with the fruit of his way. And a good man will be filled with the fruit of his way. The simple believes everything, and the prudent gives all two steps. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil. The fool is reckless and careless. A man quick temper acts foolishly, but a man and a man of evil devices is attained. Simple and hair fall. Though the prudent are crowned with knowledge, and evil bow down before the good. They will get the gates of the righteous. The poor is disliked even by his neighbor, and the rich is made for no one despises it. His neighbor is a sinner. The blessed he who is generous to the poor. Do they not go straight who devise evil? Those who devise good means to death is love and 
to faithfulness and not to those prophets. They are mere dog tens only to poverty. The kind of the wise of their works was the folly of fools brings folly. The truthful one that saves lives, the one who brings out lies is deceitful. And the fear of the Lord one has strong confidence. And his children will have refused. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. The one who turn away from the snares of death. The most of people is the Lord of a king, but without people a prince is one. Whoever is light to anger is great understanding, but he who hates the temper exalts folly. And tranquil heart gives light to the flesh, but envy makes the brains well. Whoever oppresses a poor man and sells it to make them, he is generous to the honest man. The wicked is ever thrown through his evil done with the righteous finds of fear and death. Wisdom finds rest in the hearts of men, heart of a man of understanding, and it makes itself known even in the wisdom of fools. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sins are approached to many people. Many people. A servant who deals wisely has the king's favor. His wrath falls on one who acts shamefully. Psalm 141. And Lord, I call upon you, hasten to give me to my voice when I call you. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you, and the lifting of my hands to the evening sacrifice. So, O God, O Lord, over my mouth, keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not let my heart incline to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds. In company with many work in iniquity, and let me not yield there to my good. Let a righteous man strike me. It is a kindness, let him rebuke me. It is a will for my head. Let my head not refuse it. Yet my prayers continue against the Continually against the evil deeds, when the judges are thrown over the cliff, then they shall hear my voice. For the person has been well plowed and breaks up the earth, so they shall have bones be scattered, the mouth is shot, and that my eyes are toward you, O God, my Lord. In your seek refuge, leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me, and from the snares of evil. Well, let the wicked fall into their own Why pass by safely? Now that I stand, I should now do the Lord's prayer. Raise my hands up in heaven, and I be your name. You can come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You are today, I will die he also dares to use Jesus, he is not tempted. He is not temptation, but delivers from the evil one. He is the kingdom and the power of God forever. Amen. He's tomorrow. Bye.